big Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. In the game. Okay. And I'm in the game. It's your boy Jay from the Fields of Play. Coming at you with this QB1, getting ready to start our journey. The great Xavier Fields. Gonna cover a couple of topics this week that came up in the first week of college, real football. And that trash game, I swear to God, that we had it with the uh, Bears and the Packers. You know, um, 10 to 3 is not the game I think we all predicted to see. So, uh, let's get started on this and we'll get into some other topics. Once again, this is your boy Jay from the Fields of Play. Feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we about to get into this. What's up? Now that game, man, I, I, I just felt like I love defensive efforts. I know everybody does, but not really what we wanted to see on the first week of I'm gonna put it to you simply. NFL football. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. The ball right there looks so generic. <sighs> I'm not going to put you through all this. Give me about five minutes and we'll create the great Xavier Fields. All right, there we go. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to... Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget well, to thank your well, mom. Motherfucker, who the hell do you think you're talking about? Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Thank you, stall dude. Why don't you sit in there okay, and take cool. a shit? Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I, I've been meaning to run into you. I'm Hello? definitely not shaking your hand, player. Hello? Who's it going to be? Okay, okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Oh. Great decision. No, no pressure. Going to Cali. Going back to Cali. Ready, set. Hot, hot. With this team's star starting quarterback out, they're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college, not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, scan the field, and throw it to Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college school playoff, and that's what's gonna keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid can do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Snake? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. I uh, does not see something right Motherfucker, there. Motherfucker, you a five-star recruit. When you a five-star recruit, you a five-star recruit. Coach, you want to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night, and he's coming here. What? 
Well, I should sock the shit out you, player. That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. You'll see. Like, motherfucker, you're gonna need me, player. You're gonna need me. No, no, no. Better question is if you're a young five star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. And to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's gotta prove it to those guys. Really, coach, are you gonna listen and sit there and listen to the bullshit on the, on the TV? If you're a real coach, you don't do that shit, y'all. Right, gentlemen, like coach, because it's bullshit. Say, Second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Let's go handle some business. Bust some ass. I wonder if they really do get like outfit and gear like this. I mean, my man got a whole outfit. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> Lose weight. I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Go on in there. Uh -huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only. Bitch, I will knock you out. I'm here to play Texas Tech. What? The Red Raiders, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? See, that's some bullshit. Why would you put this on the game? You got Justin Fields. You got all these other balls named Fields in the in the, in the game. You know, Justin Fields played for Ohio State. Who might you might want to use him in this? You know, why would you not be able to use the last name Fields? That's ridiculous. That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. I'm about to oh, go out here and bust you. some people's ass. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I ain't surprised. I'm, I'm mad. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay. I'm just going to record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight. But we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you like describe I'll rip that your bitch's style? head off? Oh, um, well, I, uh, oh man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah. Uh, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know, back in high school, guys did kind of find me pretty intense. Intense, okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, Bye. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. 
Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. Got you. Well, anyway, you know, college football been very good this week, last week. I mean, you look at Penn State, they put up 70 points, did a great job. I mean, we got a lot of good teams in, in college right now. Uh, Ohio State blew their teams out, blew their squad out. I mean, they playing nobodies, but still, you put up 70 points on a team. I mean, you be all college recruits. These dudes ain't bumped, yo. Let's go. Yo, why was the Cowboys out there for a hot second? You saw that? Set. 60 out, Get it. I don't know why it's giving him bullet passes. Seventy Indy. Big river, big river. On the ready. Pitch and catch. When you do that tonight, and we move on. I don't know why I couldn't get that lob to go. Yeah, and then I really hope the NFL season turns out really well for my birds. All right, they got I just a good chance to coach. this year. Insist Obviously, the Bears are missing Jordan Howard. For you tonight. What do you think? Well, <laughs> why he could feel like he go punch the coach in the mouth? <laughs> he looks angry as shit. <laughs> Wait, is, this, is this a joke? All right, look, coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. Music got all intense. No, 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 fuck man. that. Like, right, fuck that, fuck that, man. You go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Oh, this is crazy, right? Right? I need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing the safe's the best option. You don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even more so for Isaiah, so you don't take what he says personally. 
You're doing the right thing. Okay? All right. Have a good game. Look intense. There's a lot of good games this weekend with the Eagles and the Redskins. Also, the uh, Cowboys and the Giants. One of those two teams is going to come out with a loss. So, you know, I think that happens in every game, right? Ha, 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 ha. But, uh, yeah, the, this season is going to be excellent, I think. Uh, really looking forward The 2018 college football season has been a wild one, and we are now down to four as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups as we'll see the Texas Tech Red Raiders taking on the USC Trojans. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. He's a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. I will. For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the Let's national go. playoff semifinal. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The long lineage of quarterbacks for SC has led to him as he gets ready for his first collegiate snap. They'll run on first down. Darby. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Back to throw now on second and ten. And a quick throw here. That's complete. It's a first down on a gain of ten. A good throw there, but boy, a tough situation for this offense, for this program, really. When you think about it, Marcus Washington, four-year starter, came in as a true freshman to lead this team. He's third all-time in passing yards in school history, second in touchdowns, twice in All-American. Both them all that stuff. Never missed a game in his college career, 53 starts, but now he sits and watches as his understudy for the last four years finally gets his shot in the leading role. He'll drop to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A well-executed 22-yard game. USC gets set here, first and 10. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Quick slant caught by Streets. And he Touchdown. will score. Touchdown, Southern Cal. Isaiah Streets, 27 yards, and the Trojans have taken the early lead. So that drive certainly a confidence builder for an inexperienced quarterback. And a confidence builder for the coaching staff as well, because now they're seeing that they can work with what's out there. In addition, they feel good about the game dun, 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 they set up in advance. Dun, dun, dun. So following the USC touchdown, dun, 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 dun. the kick team to send this uh, one away. Uh, this is fielded a couple yards deep. Yo, I see you got to get back, and get back up in the rankings, man. Yeah, I, I remember those years. Yeah, I used to do it with the shit. We ain't going to play the defense. Hell they slot. So let's get at it. He will not be throwing to start out as they begin on the ground. Number eight, I should have just ran at you. About a yard up to the 21. Second and nine now from the 21. Second and nine now. Shoot. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Buying time to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. That scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. Fielded at the 20. Oh, stuck. 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here we go! 60 out Step. They'll look to throw here. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he there you go. More tacked Defense. on for good measure. There the you go. so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. An opening there Come on, 16. Got to make up the block right there, baby. Eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Second and two. God damn. To escape and he goes down. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through. He caught it, but he didn't catch it inbound. Sometimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Oh, good punt. So well done defense. there. These punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. From the gun on third down, Warren. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? Guy catch the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? Come on, guys. That play a real nice huh? timing play, and sometimes it can break big. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Throw left side complete. That's Young. I know you tried out the scoreboard watch, but you only got three points. This dude. You got to hope that that type of play there gives you some positive momentum. Going that dude, that. boy, he, he was unhitstickable, huh? Number that they have on the scoreboard right now. Now Warren. There's a sack. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Here's Warren to throw. Then on that one, the protection. Oh, why you ain't pick it off? 
you've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw. There you go. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards he the middle. He missed that one, though. Give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered. All right, let's see if we got timing, quick change, quick change. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, at other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Here's first and ten for the Trojans. Back to throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Oh, come on, offense. He whiz. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. That took us it. right out of field goal range. The guys who just gave up that play. Looking to throw. Oh, wide open, though. There you go. Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Here's Young. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Running lanes that wasn't behind the, the line. Team, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They'll keep it on the ground. Young. Oh, come on, man. He had it bottlenecked up. Now he, he, he hurdling balls. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. On first and ten, one, and his throw is incomplete. Texas Tech, a newcomer to the college football playoff. They have won 11 conference titles in their history. But, boy, this would be quite a feat to make a run through these games in Dallas and Santa Clara. Warren 
and gonna pass it. Oh, why you ain't jumped that? Eleven yards there. Should have jumped that route. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. On the ground they go with Young. About three yards there to the 27. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. How was that not picked off? And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That second down play nets a minus four. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams. Oh, uh, that was almost picked quarter. off. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. No good. Start to watch is the arm there. The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. They're going to look to throw. Well, so much made about the fact that we got and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down and no matter what the situation the o-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there right man that's just so difficult for them yeah and they not protected him at all god when you decide to throw the football you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet you talk about guys if they weren't playing football they'd be stuck look at this it's like two like swiss cheese man they ain't getting rid of it in the first 10 seconds. It's like, like we're done. Obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Well, that was good as a punt. 17. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now he'll look to throw here. Oh, that was team. big. Yeah. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. This is Irons. All right, he glitched his way over there. That's bullshit. behind the line. It's a loss of two there, Oh man, I wish it was. We see the instant replay. That was out. such a glitch. Turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This Come on, EA. Y'all got to be better than this, man. Care of the ball. All the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense. That was right close. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead just to the Just throw down. a pick. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Being chased out left, and he can't oh. quite get there. Tackled but he got the one. first. Well, apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. The Trojans come up now first and goal. <laughs> They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for a USC there touchdown. There you go. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Trojans add on to their lead. 
Needed that one, baby. Needed that one. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? Means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way, he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. So now, following the USC touchdown, on is the kick team to send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texas Tech offense about ready to go here for their next possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way. Man, almost had the sack on that one. Totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack. Yeah. And he'll lose he ain't running that screen. No, 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 boss. That's a loss of eight yards there to bring up third. Well, that last completion is certainly not what they were hoping for, is now they'll try to convert on third. Looking to throw. One. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He's going to let it fly. Yeah. No, it's Turnover on down. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none. Yes, exactly right. Here's Irons. Now he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Here's Darby on the carry. And the start there you go. Inside the five at the four. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On the ground, it's Darby. And he is in for a USC touchdown. Orlando Darby, his second touchdown of the night. And the Trojans add on to their lead. Uh, It'd be real easy to say uh, that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily there. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. You can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Red Raider offense set to take over here. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost like, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams oh, to do come on. That should have been my user right as there. To, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Oh, we're about to fight the ball. Down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Don't get so angry, ball. Angry. To a third and three. Back to throw. Oh, how you ain't picking off 39? Come on, dog. Got a shot at that one. Neither can get it. And it brings up fourth down. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down with a hold on the field. So let's see about the call. Bring it back. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey. He's back. To escape and he goes down. 
After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. The Red Raiders with a first and ten. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So on the strength of two touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback, the USC Trojans are moving on to play for a national title on... That was a good win. So, uh, we're going to check out the pre after game highlights. Please remember to hit like, subscribe. And after that, this is your boy Jay from the field to play. I'm really proud of you. I holler. Thank you, sir. That was a gutsy performance out there tonight. You took us to a national championship when nobody. And I mean, nobody expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we're going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> M, Looking good, Emily! Oh, and I'm loving this hat! Thank you. Oh! Absolutely! Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Look, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> You see, look, you don't, you don't pick from the options given, all right? The game is in the name, off the board. Uh, now it's playing. <laughs> okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, uh, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood, <laughs> Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? Uh. <laughs> is, is that okay? Oh. Well, uh, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Great to see you too. It was nice to meet you, Emily. You too. <laughs> All right. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. No, no not, that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this is, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. 
manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at this table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real, he's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Sure, coach. <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. It's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back. Right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Yeah, thanks. Go. Yeah, yeah.